Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at how to mine Gram, the type of wallets you can use, and of course, how to withdraw it, because this is a Telegram type token where we have to use Telegram in order to interact, withdraw, exchange, whatever. It's a pain in my rear. I don't, I really have a bad taste in my mouth from previous experiences with Ton in general, Ton coin, but it's not bad for everyone, right? Some people might like it, some people don't. It's just not my cup of tea. However, uh, mine something did a really good job in their initial video. It's a little bit easier now to get started and we're going to go through it. Now, Graham has finally started showing up on Hashrate.no, but it's been profitable to mine this token for quite some time. If you want to know how to find these tokens before they become popular or available on these calculators like Hashrate.no, whattomine.com, coincalculators.io, whatever, uh, you should go check out my previous videos of spec mining and how to find some of these gems in the rough before they become more popular and then it's not as profitable but either way it was number one for much of this past week and now it's dropped down to number two by the time you're watching this video it might be number three or it might not even be in the top 10 but we'll see how things go now you can see right now i'm using ton ninja I also was using gram coin and if we go to gram coin or pool.gramcoin.org we click connect our wallet, just like we might see with MetaMask or Binance Smart Chain or Polygon, whatever. You click connect wallet and then your choices pop up. So you can see uh, that you can use your Telegram wallet on Telegram, Tongue Keeper, MyTon, so on and so forth. Personally, I like Tongue Keeper out of all of them. And if we look here at my phone real quick, you can see there it is right there. So I'm just going to select it. All right, it's going to load up the app. And now I'm going to hit this QR button right in the top section right here. And then I'm going to scan what is on the screen. And that's going to allow me to connect to this wallet. And you can see here it is saying just that. Pool.gramcoin.org, connect wallet, enable notifications, yes. And now we are connecting. It should receive a signal and there we go. So now we should be able to connect to this page. And you can see I have 109 gram in here that is available with four withdrawals. Well, we'll return back to that here in just a moment. I just want to show you the different wallet options that are available to users that they can use. Okay. Now mining it, LOL Miner makes life a lot easier. All right. And we can see that 1.85 beta came out three days ago. By the time you're watching this, probably like a week and some change ago. Uh, but in the previous version, they improved ton and gram mining performance by 15 to 18% on RDNA 1 through 3, NVIDIA Pascal, and newer GPUs. So they've been improving, just like minor devs do, improving the actual hash rate or performance of some of these algorithms or some of these GPUs on certain algorithms. So we just come down here, LOL Miner, scroll on down to Assets, and now we can download whichever one we need for our operating system. They even give us a nice little guide here for how to quickly update if it's not available in Hiveon, which it should be by now especially by the time you're watching this video uh, to where you can just choose version 1.85. If not, you can manually update it and overwrite an existing like 1.84, 1.83, whatever. So in this case, we're just going to download the Windows version because I just want to show you how easy it is. It shows up as always in the top right. It's going to be suspicious. So we're going to click that. We're going to click uh, download suspicious file and now wait for that to get done. Select it. A window pops up. There we go. Double click in it and extract all. Another window pops up, extract again. And that's going to go exactly where you extracted it. Now, a Windows Defender or Windows Antivirus or any antivirus that you might have might catch the file. So you might want to allow or tell it, hey, this is okay, oh, add an exception, what have you. But if we open these files right here, we can actually find mine gram right here inside the files. There it is. Right click, edit in Notepad if you're on Windows 11. Um, but or Windows 10 doesn't really matter and you can see here that it's already pointed to a certain pool right ton.hashrate.to uh, the various pools are very different and to find out how to connect when you go to that pool it actually will provide you that information for example let's see here we disconnect wallet you see here how to install and then boom gramcoin would tell us uh, the pool is pool.gramcoin.org and then it's, or excuse me, api-pool.gramcoin.org uh, colon 443. That is the port number. So that's the pool that we need. And then your user would be your wallet, so on and so forth. You can just download the script if you want to or copy this so we can hang on to this. Uh, it even provides us pretty good instructions for Hivon as well, telling us how to configure, how to set it up. Pretty cool. I like it. Um, 
but realistically it's a lot easier than that now unless you're manually uh you know manually having to to install because hivon doesn't have 1.85 or whatever like this one's still showing 1.84 not 1.85 so we just need to know the pool because we already have our wallet i showed you the wallet options again if you don't remember what those wallet options are you got ton keeper my ton wallet and if we click more you got ton hub uh d wallet x ton wallet ton wallet open mass so on and so forth i like ton keeper that's the one i like to use a lot of people like different ones like my ton so on and so forth but that tells us there and now if we go here and we disconnect on ton ninja if we scroll down on ton ninja when we're actually connected via our wallet same way that i showed you on gram coin um, we scroll down here here's all the steps right to connect and everything shows us our steps and here is the pool that we need right so in our batch file that we have here all we got to do is update the server and port with this information right here lol miner dot ton dot ninja colon 9999 put that in there and then we're going to put in our wallet address of our choice and then password now x parameters you can always go to hash rate dot no if you click on the actual token you're just like oh no what do i do with my gpus go to benchmarks and you can go to whichever GPU you have. For example, we have a 3080 here. And you can see, boom. Uh, for LOL Miner, we can just copy this. And we can input that right here after the API uh, port 8020 space. And then just put the offset, the core clock lock, the mem, mem clock, and the power limit. This is more of a core intensive algorithm. Take away this extra space here. And now this flight sheet is good to go. Or this batch file is good to go if i double click this in the uh folder right now i will be able to mine uh gram on my windows system real quick interruption forgot to mention this if you are going to run those commands those specialized commands where you're overclocking setting the offset and all that good stuff you must tell your system that it needs to run in administrative mode right so run this program as administrator all you need to do is go to the main lol miner right click properties and that window pops up that we just talked about and this is the zipped one but it opens up that we just talked about you go to compatibility run this program as administrator apply okay and done because if you don't do that it won't apply those overclocks with this 3080 however looking at hive i'm just going to pull up the flight sheet here for you very simple if we go to edit and i hit show setup i just use the wallet.worker template right if this was blank by the way this is what it would look like right so i would hit this little eye right here i would hit the wall uh the wall for wallet put a period go to the i again add worker name bob's your uncle there you go port and server uh so lol miner dot ton dot ninja don't add the port put the port down here you can see it's separate and then x for password unless you want to add something and any extra config arguments that you want now you can see hive on does already have 1.85 beta already out or in here so we want to select that uh to see if there's any extra performance i think it, there's not much performance for gram mining but i don't have it selected so i'm going to make sure to select that and then hit update and we are off and running you can see some of my gpus maybe not the most efficient setup right now but hashing away on gram uh, i can make them a little bit more power efficient for example this 3070 is way over than what it's supposed to be um but I'm just playing around with it, and some of my GPUs can't hit the same threshold or numbers that example, for example, hashrate.no uh, has on here. But for example, here's a 3070, right? And so the 3070 is saying that we should do in about 2.52 giga hash um, at 85 watts, and clearly uh, my this 3070 is way over. Now it's around the hash rate, but it's way over power power target or power. Uh, recommendation so I'm not running as efficient as I could let's look at another 3072.55 at 90 watts that's close almost close we're five watts over but that's about close to where we should be so 13070 just doesn't want to go below a certain level and just pick and choose right just find a nice balance for your system your system your setup everything's gonna be a little bit different but as far as hive on goes very easy to set up now um, you can just copy this flight sheet the way I have it right just make sure you add your wallet if you don't have a wallet already hit add wallet pull in your wallet address and your name so on and so forth if you do everything on the mobile and you're like oh i gotta get over to the computer whatever and you're not logged into hive on via the mobile app what i like to do is once i get the wallet here on my phone for example if i go to my receiving address right so receive 
I can copy, right? And now I open up the Block Explorer on here, and then I send that link, share it via Discord, uh, email it to myself, whatever, and then I pull it up on the on the desktop. Because I know you could type it out, but a lot of people type it out and then they have a typo. And now they're mining to somebody else's address or an address that doesn't exist anymore. You just want to make sure you got it right. But now we have that URL copied. We can paste it, send it wherever we need to, and then we're good to go. Get it onto the desktop, add it into our flight sheet, add it to our Windows batch file, whatever we may have. So that one's all set. So we got our address. You chose a wallet. We know how to mine on Windows. We know how to mine on Hivon. How do we withdraw? Well, let's test it out on Gram. Okay, so Gram coin here, I need to connect once again via TonKeeper. Sometimes it logs you out after X amount of time. Sometimes it doesn't. But let me go ahead and log back in. Scanning with my QR code once again. Boom. Enable notifications. Yes. And now that should go away. And we should see our balance here. And it just keeps on doing it. All right, let me refresh the page. Sometimes this does happen. It's one of the annoying things about this particular uh, use case. All right, there we go. And so now withdrawals. We click on withdrawals. We can withdraw the maximum amount. I think they only do whole numbers, but we'll see here. So withdraw. And now it's going to go to, we got to go to Telegram. All right, yeah, please enter a whole number. So we can't do the 0.87, blah, blah, blah. So withdraw. All right. Withdrawal created successfully. 109 gram withdrawal link has been copied to your clipboard. And so now we got to go to the gram bot. All right. Now we're going to click get gram. I'm going to open in web. There we go. Receiving 109 gram. All right. You received 109 gram, $3.72. There we go. Open wallet. We can see our balance in there. We have 110 in there right now. Now we can do withdrawal. There's a, a minimum, I believe, of 25. And we're going to do gram ton to open network or ton. Enter wallet address or domain name to send, send ton. That's where you want to make sure you got the correct wallet address like we were talking about before. Put in our wallet address. All right. Enter the amount of gram you want to send to this address. There's a fee of 25 grams. So I'm going to lose 85 cents out of this $3. Use max. Confirm. Processing. Waiting for sending. You uh, would you like to save this address from the uh, from the network, the open network, ton as your uh, in your address book? Yes. There we go. And now it's just a matter of waiting until we receive our gram here in our wallet. Now I'm gonna try to go to the ton coin block explorer because this is our its own network. Don't get it confused with Tron or anything like that. And let's see here. All right, 85 grams sent successfully to this address. Let's see if it's showing up in my wallet. There it is. So that only took about a minute, but you can see it 85 gram at the bottom of my wallet. And there we go. So now we have mined some gram. We have successfully worked not only with gram uh, coin pool, but also with ton.ninja, which a lot of people are on. Um, and that is how you withdraw this withdrawal steps will be basically the same. I just wouldn't recommend withdrawing small amounts, you know, build up. And then after a while, because of the fee, right? Cause you can see these pools have a 50% commission. Both of them do. And you can see, uh, that, you know, taking out the funds, I lost quite a bit, right? So I lost about 85 cents, which for a GPU miner, and today's market is not exactly a good thing. You don't want to lose anything if you can avo avoid it at all possible. So minimize the amount of transactions or how many transactions you do. Try to build up and then withdraw all at once. But you do have to use Telegram to complete the transaction. And you can always go back and, and see some of the commands in here under the crypto bot in Telegram. So if you're, if you're concerned about losing this bot and all the Telegram messages, right-click pin to uh, your telegram and it will be towards the top of your messages and you won't lose it. But that is how you mine on Windows, you mine on Hive, you withdraw and interact with your wallet. And I wish you the best of luck. If you got any useful information on this video, please throw it a like. And uh, that's gonna do it for today. So as always, hit the like button on the way out. Make sure to get subscribed, hit the notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out additional links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And you just have yourself a wonderful day. Take care, I'll catch you next one. Thank you.